Um, thank you for the opportunity to speak to you today. My name is Suzette Tardif. I reside in the State Board of Education District 5. Um, I'm a product of Texas Public Schools, as was my daughter. Uh, I'm a member of the First United Methodist Church. I have a doctoral degree in zoology, and I've taught college-level biology courses for over 25 years. Um, as a Texas citizen who values both science and religion, I wanted to come to support the recommendations of the science review team and the commissioner regarding the instructional materials that are to be approved and those that are not to be approved. Um, and I have provided written statements that you can that you can read, but I want to bring up one point that is uh, one that hasn't been brought up yet that I wanted to cite from the standpoint of being a biologist about a concern that I have about the sort of materials that are presented in the international database material that has not been recommended um, by the, uh, the science review team. Uh, intelligent design packages complexity of living systems so students, from my read, are actually encouraged to accept it as a crutch to support creationism, not particularly to use it to raise questions. I want to point out a recent scientific discovery that illustrates the importance of questioning complexity. For centuries, the process through which simple cells turn into cells of different types has been assumed to be so complex that it cannot be reversed. However, it has recently been discovered that changes in only two to four genes reverse this process, and this finding may hold the key to treatment of Alzheimer's disease and diabetes. If scientists had blindly accepted the complexity of cell differentiation, these advances would never have been made. If we want Texas students to be among the next generation of scientists who tackle biological complexity with an open mind, we cannot burden them with intelligent design arguments that encourage them to accept rather than question complexity. Thank you.